Welcome, Awakened One, to another Chat with Spirit. And we're going to be talking to Dr. Fred Bell. He's one of my favorite people for connecting with on the other side to help us out navigate life's energies in this timeline. Now, Dr. Fred Bell, he worked for NASA. He worked for secret governments. He also worked with the Palladians in particular. And he wrote lots of great, awesome books that are full of scientific information. But you can watch one of my first interviews with him in the playlist. Just check check out the EVP Spirit Communication playlist here. So we're going to talk to Fred Bell about the Mandela Effect. And also about the Georgia guide stones that were recently destroyed and some other cool space stuff so let's get started all right so we will be using the miracle box by steve huff for this episode dr fred bell are you available to speak to us today about the mandela effect dr fred bell Yay! How you doing today? Thank you for joining me on this interview, Fred. I have your pyramid from Pyrodyne, your company. Okay. I haven't used it enough lately. But I wanted to say that it had broke right here, and we tried to solder it, but it broke again. Does it still going to work, even though it has a break in it? Yes. Yeah, there's so much to talk about the mandela effect okay that's been popular now now a few years ago it wasn't so popular they say the mandela effect is a chess game between different entities maybe antimatter versus matter or good versus evil or however you want to think about it but what is the mandela effect signify for you dr bell All right, so I saw in some of the Mandela effects that we're having now, sunglasses are disappearing. For example, Tom Cruise in the movie used to have sunglasses. Now that's never existed in this timeline. Raisin Brand, do you remember the sunglasses there? Um, they never existed. Why would that be, Dr. Bell? What's the point of the sunglasses disappearing? that conversation is that when you remove the sunglasses you're removing because you can see the eyes now right because you know how they were like they're lying to us and most of them are failing that kind of feeling so it almost sounds like the sunglasses mandela or those changes in the timeline about sunglasses is so that truth can be revealed maybe because sunglasses cover your eyes i'm not sure that's kind of what i'm getting out of that what do you think Georgia Guidestones, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the everything from who put them there in the first place to what caused the explosion or the destruction of the Guidestones. Well, I'll just let you guys look. So check out this video. The Guidestones. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Because the Guidestones had at least been in the news for a little while. So a lot of people have heard about the... Uh, the guide stones, the explosion that was there that happened on July 6th of this year. And we do have a short video just to show that ex explosion in case anyone hasn't seen it. To video quickly. Oh, 
Yeah, so there's the, the guide stones going boom, so to speak. Yeah, initially when we saw this, uh, we had a free, freeze frame video. We stopped it, and it looked like a big flash of light right above it. So it kind of looked like some like plasma struck it. But now those videos that I saved are gone and uh, deleted by the creator. So I'm kind of like, what? But whatever. Uh, if it's a bomb, if you like go back, there's also a flash of light off of the, off of the uh, that that light uh, it, it like flashes left. right before the explosion. Yeah, yeah what For is some that? reason? I don't know why, but that that light shining flashes brighter and i wonder what that is yeah exactly and um, then there was um uh so the explosion happened on july 6 they had the footage of a silver car that was released the next day now what was really interesting is that and, and i was like watching the news about this because i wanted to see like what what actually happened and what was going to be reported then on July 8th, there is the footage of a man placing some kind of imp improvised explosive device. It appears like under the guide stones. PBI is hoping new video will help them nail down the person responsible for blowing up the Georgia Guidestones. Check it out. The GBI says this video shows the person leaving an explosive device at the structure and then running away. We circled them for you so you can see that person going in and then running right back out a little bit later. This morning, the Elbert County District Attorney is promising to prosecute whoever caused this drastic scene here blowing up the Guidestones. The prosecutor says whoever is behind this, they say they're going to catch them for sure. Now, we do understand only one portion was damaged on Wednesday, but they had to demolish the whole thing because of safety. And you said uh, to me that you thought it was suspicious that the one where the guy's running, there's no time stamp on that. And it just goes right to a time stamped video with the explosion. So that, that also makes me suspicious if there's like a change with the narrative of the belief around this. And yeah, but, people are saying, yeah, do possibly do wep uh, direct energy weapons. Like, that's why I thought initially when I first saw that the video where there's like a flash coming down. But, you know, like I said, like I was watching the news. So July 8th is when they released the video of the person going up to the guide stones and then running away. It's interesting. Like you said, there's no there's no time stamp on that particular video. And I find it very curious that. You know, when there's an explosive device, for sure, there is re remnants of it. And they could actually get DNA from the person that created the explosive device. But what did they do? The first thing they did is they just removed everything. You know, they had, it was, it was a crime scene. And the, the official statement is because it was dangerous. And I guess they thought people would be going up to the guide stones for whatever reason. Um, they just removed everything. So it's almost like the scene of the crime for one of these controversial places in the United States, it seems like it just went away too fast. So no matter how you look at it, it seems like something is a little bit suspicious with this. Okay, so what do you think, Fred? Why was it destroyed? Um, uh, Fascinating. Does CERN cause Mandela effects, Dr. Bell? Just the CERN machine, the hadron, uh, sorry, the hadron collider. Does it uh, cause Mandela effects? One more question, Fred. Do you happen to know light language or the ability to send us a light language frequency? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Dr. Bell, thank you so much, Fred, for all your help today and for this cool little episode here. I can't wait to get together with you again and talk some more crazy stuff that's happening in the world. (laughs) Would you be able to give us your signature spaceship sound to say goodbye? I'll even put the pyramid on for it. I'll put the pyramid on for your spaceship sound. Cool. Thank you. I love it. Our first seal. Yes. In red. All right, I'll look around. Captures the seal. Look right on in right now, you mean? Like, look around right now? Thank you for the spaceship sounds. Also, Dr. Bell, the other day at 2, I think it was like 2, 2, 2 in the morning. Uh, And I didn't have my phone, but I went outside and I saw the big UFO with the spinning lights and then the tiny one that went up to it and disappeared. Was that you or your team? Just free in Earth. (laughs) I love that. How could I help to free Earth? Laugh. Laugh? Yes, you've told me that before. Keep laughing. And I always ask this, I think, but or it's always on my mind, but is there any chance that I could go for a spaceship ride with you and the nice, uh, maybe Palladians or whoever the nice guys are? Um, would there ever be a chance for me to go on a spaceship ride? Yes, yeah. Aw, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be very excited for that. When could I expect a spaceship ride? Or am I asking too much? Hear the beep. Earth hero. <laughs> You're so sweet. This was really fun. Can't wait to do it again, but is there any other extra thoughts you have, Fred, before we say goodbye? Uh, I like it too, buddy. Hold the light. Hold the light. You said that before. All right, thanks, Fred, so much. Oh, I went like this and I could hear in tune. Okay, anyways, <laughs> thank you so much, Fred, for all your help. We really appreciate it. And uh, I can't wait to see you in our next video. So I don't know what we'll talk about. Um, but uh, thanks for being you and thanks for being available to chat. I always love chatting with you. So bye-bye for now, Fred. Have a good time. And we'll talk to you soon. So there we have it. A nice talk with our friend, Dr. Fred Bell. You know, he he has a company called Pyrodyne that his um, daughter runs. She, they have all sorts of really cool stuff. They have the nuclear receptor. I have one of those. In another video that I did with Dr. Bell, I uh, showed him that I was wearing my nuclear receptor and pyramids like that and all sorts of cool things for energy healing and using like 
space technology and everything like that. So super cool. Check that out. And if you'd like your own reading, um, check out my readings on my site. And I have some Organite left right now too, um, Orgone Energy Tools as well. So you, you might be interested in. All right. So I'm Trina, your intuitive guide. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.